Hello YouTubers, this is Anubifire. Today I'd like to talk about the Drake Caterpillar. About a month ago on Around the Verse, Randy Vasquez, who is the designer who's been working on this ship, was interviewed. At that time we got a ton of information about this ship, which up until recently we've had no information about. It's one of the original concepts, it's one of the original ships in the store, and uh, there's been lots of theory about it, but not very much actual information. So what sets this ship apart is it's asymmetrical, it's not very quick, and it's not very well armed. So why the hell would I give a shit about it? People either love it or hate it. People think that it's going to be a dog or they think it's going to be fantastic. But what is important to know about this is its modularity. The modularity is key to this ship and why I think it's going to be such a great ship for smaller organizations. So some things that were confirmed is that the ship is going to be slightly larger to maintain that 500 cargo units that we were originally promised. It's going to be five empty modules. Each module will be able to hold 90 SCU plus what can fit in the front module. Randy was asked directly if you can scale the length of the ship and he said no, you must have five modules and a front. He also confirmed that each module is independent, meaning that you can open the door on one without compromising the air in another, that each module comes with its own set of thrusters and that uh, you can stack them in whichever order makes sense to you. Front module is a little bit unique compared to the other ones. It'll have a turret on it, has larger main weapons facing forward and it has a door that becomes a ramp. It also has larger thrusters, and if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense because the linear nature of the ship, that's where you're going to need most of your push to make the ship turn around. It looks like each module is going to be a two-story design, which is really good if you were to consider the cargo. You'd actually be able to get to and from the front turret without having to step over boxes. Along with that two-story design, it looks like you'd be able to open up the sides as well. A good example of that would be that if you wanted a cargo box that was loaded near the middle of the ship, you wouldn't need to unload the entire front of the ship just to get at that box. All you'd need to do is lift up the side and pull the box out. You can probably do that while floating in space or when landed on the ground. So asymmetrical design, five modules plus a front, plus there's an engineering section, which I believe they're calling the foyer. And then there's also a command module. The command module can be flown independent of the rest of the ship. I'm assuming to be used as an escape module or as kind of a, like a recce craft. It's been confirmed that that command module will have no living area of its own and it'll probably only be one floor unlike all the drawings that we've seen up to date. That's to facilitate the doors opening like a clamshell. So during that interview we had a chance to see a lot of different modules that Randy was working on. One of them was a personnel module which as far as I'm concerned is your crew quarters. Uh, there was an armory that he showed us which had weapon racks and you know equipment that you'd use for infantry soldiers. There was a barracks, which uh, was a less pretty version of the personnel module, had more beds on it, and uh, it had a workbench, and it was more geared towards uh, having a boarding party. There was a workshop module, which he described as a store as well, so it has a double functionality. There's a medical module, again, a two-story module, but the bottom was your you know, recovery ward where your patients would be, and then the top looked like where the doctors would work. Uh, there's elevator in each of these modules, so you can actually use both the top and bottom without having to go all the way to one end of the ship. The really exciting one was what they called the multi-salvage room or the chop shop. Again, the side opens up, there's a crane, there's all the mechanisms that you'd need to, to do light salvage. And then the one that really got my attention was the docking color module. He displayed for us a picture of four constellations docked on one Caterpillar center module. If you're in a small org, this could be the most critical ship in your entire fleet. It could be your miniature Reclaimer, it could be your miniature Endeavor, and it could be your miniature Crucible. It could be your storefront, thus replacing kind of the functionality of a merchantman. Uh, and again, it could just become uh, the place where everyone spends the night, where everyone gets together and talks about what they're going to do next. So uh, super powerful and super useful. So the thing I think is most funny about Drake ships is anytime CIG is talking about them, they're going to mention to you that uh, the ship is designed for legitimate purposes, but that the pirates do use it for bat. So with that, they showed us this thing that they had thought of, which is a human catapult. I don't know if you guys remember that scene in Star Trek where Kirk and Khan uh, launched out of an airlock towards the, uh, the ship that was killing everybody. Anyways, the same kind of idea, but it's for search and rescue. It's not for piracy. 
So they come up, the front door's open, and then a guy is shot out of a mechanism towards uh, the target ship. His intentions are probably noble. They're going to be like a medic or something like that. The first responders trying to, you know, do first aid. They did say that there was going to be some kind of mechanism to slow the guy down so they didn't just splat against the side of the ship. But uh, depending on what front module you have, you're going to have one, two, four of these. And that's also going to be in combination with a tractor beam. So let's talk about some different module combinations. You could have five empty cargo with a front empty cargo and that would give you anywhere like 500 to 525 standard freight units. Uh, each of the second floor ramparts for each module would have a door control giving you the ability to open and close uh, modules as you please to distribute cargo. Uh, so that's, that's a fantastic idea and again not a fast ship, not an armed ship. I do see this needing an escort. So search and rescue slash boarding. You could have a cargo module, a medical module, a barracks and a personnel area or like a armories and that would give you the ability to mix and match and do those types of missions. Uh, you could have your straight up salvage variant. So you'd have like the storefront, a cargo area and then maybe a workshop and then a salvage shop or two salvage shop. Kind of exciting stuff when you think about what this ship can do. So before I sum up this video, one thing I did notice is that uh, throughout this interview, there seems to be a chair off the right hand side that uh, looks out the side. And uh, it was described as being a seat for the tractor beam operator. So it looks like there's going to be a mechanism that the tractor beam can go up and down the entire length of the ship on the right hand side on a rail and that that person in that seat can use the tractor beam to pull cargo boxes towards the uh, open sides and of course you can interpret that as you know people equipment salvage so yeah i mean again i'm really super interested in seeing what else is uh is going to happen in the future i just wanted to put this video out today so that uh, everyone is made aware and you know so when the the ship comes down uh, they already have a pre idea of what the ship can do and then uh, when they watch the next iteration of around the verse or wherever this is going to be launched they can uh, very quickly and truly understand how good this ship is going to be if you've made it this far in the video i really appreciate your dedication i am trying to grow my channel so please like and subscribe and i will see you in the verse